Howdy y'all, got the Bulldog on the channel. Uh, just a quick video right here, just to point out uh, a tip. Something that uh, gets lost really easy when you get tied up in things and you're thinking that there's you know, a lot wrong, but there's not. Uh, working on an old Mustang here that's you know hyped up and it's actually one that hopefully if I can ever figure out how to edit videos and put everything together and have the patience to actually do it, you'll see more of it because I've been shooting it on that camera there uh, along with a couple, three others that I just haven't sat down and edited yet. Usually when I sit down, I don't want to do anything. But anyway, here's the tip. That light on your dash, that battery light, it comes on when you turn your key on. One mistake that can be missed real easy. Your vehicle comes in, it's not charging. You run until the battery dies. But your light never came on on the dash. What in the world? First thing people think of, battery. They put a battery in it. And it drives until the battery dies and quits. Okay, second thing. It's the alternator. The alternator's not charging. But the light never came on in the dash. They put an alternator on it and drive it until, you know, charge up the battery and then the battery, it goes till the battery dies. Again, alternate, brand new alternator. What, why, what in the world? Here is how Fords work. This is, I don't know how many others do it like this, but mainly it's just the Ford that does this. I'll show you here. I'll turn the key on on this car this is a basket case car and there's no light on the dash saying that the battery light that's your telltale sign if it doesn't come on with the key on the engine not running then you've got a problem wiring problem bad bolt something like that if i can show you here 13 volts. I just, I've been charging it. And yes, this car is a big old basket case. What this thing has, I got my high dollar test light. On this car, the wire that goes to this bulb is this green with a red tracer right here. And you'll notice I've got the thing hooked to power. And if I ground that this light comes on look at that basically i'm substituting the light on the dash for this light here now i'll show you sorry for the noise for those that are of sensitive ears and for everybody else that likes power you're welcome Fourteen point three volts with this probed into that wire goes to the ignition switch and basically what it is is there's ground on that circuit when it's not charging so it puts power to it and that turns the light on when it's running and it starts charging, it neutralizes everything. So the light goes off, but it needs that circuit in order to charge. 
I don't know exactly how it works. I just know that it does. So there's a tip on where to look on these older 90s Fords. If you're dealing with uh, a problem with not charging and for you just can't find it, you change to change the battery, change the alternator, and it's still not charging, well, is a light on in your dash? And if you have a problem with it not charging and it didn't turn the light on to let you know, you need to check that circuit. Maybe it's just the bulb out. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. We'll talk to you later.